Hey everyone. So in this video, I'm going to be explaining the modulo operation. So the modulo operation can be useful for a lot of the coder byte challenges. Uh, so what it does is it basically gives you the remainder after a division. So if you do something like print uh, 7 divided by 3, you get 2. So you have to actually... So in Python, you need to... Um, one of the numbers needs to be a floating point number, it needs to be a decimal number to get the actual decimal. So if we do something like 8 divided by 3.0, we get 2.667. Uh, so here we can see that 3 goes into 8 two times, and then we have a remainder. So that remainder you can just get by doing the following operation. So the percentage sign, so 8 percentage sign 3 will give you the uh, remainder. So we should get 2. So we get 2.0. If we get rid of if we're, if both numbers are integers, we get two. So this eight divided by three uh, is a decimal. But if we just want the remainder, you do eight mod three. And so the modulo operation can be really useful for some of the challenges. So one way it can be useful is so I'll provide some examples. So eight divided by two is some number which is four. So if we do eight mod two, we actually get zero. If we print, uh, count this out. So if we print eight divided eight mod two, we get zero because there's no remainder after two goes into eight four times. So if we do ten divide ten mod two, we get zero. But if we do eleven mod two, two goes into eleven some number of times, and then we're left with a remainder, and that remainder is one. So what we can do here is we can determine if a number is even or odd using the simple modulo operation. So we do some, we'll write a function. So def is even. Pass in a number. So we'll pass in num. And now we'll do if. So what we notice is that when a number goes in, if two goes into some number and the remainder is zero, that means there was no remainder. So the number is even. Two went into it. Um, um, and e two went into the number with leaving no remainder. So we'll do something like if num mod two equals zero. So after you divide it by after you divide a number by two, if there's no remainder, then we know it's even. So we'll return even. Otherwise, we'll return odd. Or actually, you know what? If it's we're, if we're checking if it's even, we'll return true, and then false. So now we can do something like print is even. 10 and we get true print is even 11 we get false print is even 151 we get false 152 true so this is a really simple ex example of how the modulo operation can be really useful to determine even or odd um, another challenge is uh, the time convert challenge on CoderByte where it asks you to convert minutes into uh, hours and minutes so if you have something like minutes equals 63 this is actually one hour and three minutes and the way we get that is we divide the number of minutes by 60 which represents hours and then the remainder is the minutes so if you were given a number like 63 a really easy easy way to return hours and minutes is the following way so hours is so let's just say the input or um so we'll, we'll write a function for this so def convert we'll call it convert to hm which convert to hours and minutes and so we get mins so hours equals mins divided by 60 that'll be the hours and then minutes is hours or sorry it's mins mod 60 so after we divide it by 60 the remainder is minutes and then we simply return hours so we need to convert it to a string hours plus colon plus string minutes and so now we can convert con so we'll print let's try the example of 63 so this is actually one hour and three minutes so let's see what we get and we get one three which means one hour and three minutes if we do something like so in two hours there are 120 minutes so if we do 119, we should get 1 hour and 59 minutes. 120 is 2 hours and 0 minutes.
So with this simple mod function, we are able to determine how many uh, hours and minutes have passed uh, if you got a really big number which represented minutes. So if we get something like 1024, we know that's 17 hours and 4 minutes. Uh, so yeah, so this is a, these are two really simple examples that can help you with some of the coder break challenges and it exposed to you how the uh, modular operation uh, works in, for some of the challenges.